Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for June 21st through the 27th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see what's going on here. The overall energy for the reading, the Ten of Pentacles, stability, family life possibly, but it's looking good. It's looking good. In the recent past, you get the Page of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Judgment card. All right. <clears throat> possibly deciding to take on something new, um, being led to learning about something new or maybe opening a business up or I don't know, something that feels... The Page of Pentacles comes in with an energy of a student, you know, that kind of eagerness to learn new things too. So I feel like it's related to that here on your part where you may have decided to do something new for yourself and you had to learn about it. Um, in the current situation, you get the Four of Wands, the Devil, the Four of Cups. All right, there's an energy of, uh, well, there's a commitment here, possibly a marriage. <clears throat> and there's an energy of unhappiness tied up to it but this energy of unhappiness tied up to it comes in with the devil here uh which is telling me that uh, it's kind of like when you take a look at your life and everything's going good and you feel crappy and you're like why would i feel crappy about what what the hell is going on i have no reason to feel crappy it kind of comes in like that um <clears throat> where the bigger picture is that maybe this commitment here is not as crappy as you feel about it or they feel about it it could be them that are feeling this because there's there's definitely a sense of uh discontent uh, or unhappiness about it but i don't know how valid that is It almost feels like you're carrying something else inside of you and you're attaching to this. That's something that makes you unhappy, you know. Um, in the immediate future, you get the hangman, the five of wands, the chariot. All right. There's some conflict that's popping up here that hasn't been resolved. Uh, it needs to be resolved, but nobody's doing anything about it. So I don't know what this is, but um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Five of Swords, Queen of Swords, the Fool. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh there's definitely a commitment that's popping up. Um, which looks good, it feels good to me here on this side, but there's some emotions tied up to it that don't feel good. So there's uh the the underneath energy would be that of excitement of let's just go with the flow let's take this in let's look at it let's see what it is and let's just take it in as it is and there's the other energy here that shows up as uh no that situation right there that happened yesterday that needs to be like that not like this the way it happened so a sense of wanting to control maybe the situation instead of just accepting it as it is because again i see this commitment or whatever it is or this family situation even uh being where it needs to be and the need to control it or wanting to manipulate it to look like i like it or like you like it or like whoever likes it um 
that's what's creating all of these extra energies around it, which bring in discontent, which bring in self-sabotage even, you know? Um, so I don't know who's doing that, if it's you or somebody tied up to you here, but somebody's definitely doing that, uh, possibly without them being aware that they're doing it. Let's do the Page of Pentacles there in the recent past. Uh, the Chariot, the Ten of Cups, the King of Pentacles. All right. Learning to take it slow because the energy of... I don't know if this commitment is recent in your life or what, or if um, it became more official or more or bigger in the eyes of the world recently. Um, there's a sense of rushing, a sense of... I want this commitment now. I want this happiness to happen now and to last forever and forever and forever. And we all have the tendency to do that. We all, you know, we don't have patience. Why would we? Uh, but it's, it's, it's not falling into the place of flow, basically. And when you try to rush an energy, and I see you learning to deal with this and trying to be patient and trying your best to, to to let it flow. Let's do the High Priestess. In the recent past. Oscar. Come here. Come on. Come on, baby boy. Right there. For the High Priestess, you get the Star, the King of Cups, the Page of Cups. Wow, there's a lot of love here. Uh, I mean, things were looking pretty fine there in the recent past. Something showed up definitely for you. You opened up to it. You wanted it. It did gain momentum in that direction of stability and long term. Let's do the Judgment card. So then what the hell is happening now? Judgment card in the recent past. Three of Pentacles, the Temperance card, the King of Swords. Okay, so the other person may not have been exactly in the same exact place as you. At that time, there's a sense of partnership on their side. There's a sense of patience. There's a sense of them possibly opening up a little later than you have to this. Um, let's do the Four of Wands in the current situation. The Page of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. I'm still not getting the... Uh, um, the response is being the same on this person's side. Like you opened up to something uh, where it became that you wanted more or you wanted commitment or you wanted for things to, to evolve, to not stay in the same place. But I don't see the openness on this person's side to go along with that, to join you in that energy. Um, they're still here, they're still joining you, but from a different kind of energy. Um, let's do the devil. In the current situation. The two of swords, the five of pentacles, the justice card. So it's kind of like, if this is the case where you created this world where you developed emotions for somebody and it can happen, um, and they were not necessarily on that exact same page. They were like two steps behind or something. Um, you developed a world in which assumptions thrived, basically. And based on that, now I kind of see you hurting, you know, uh, being disappointed, being feeling abandoned, feeling like, oh my God, they're not responding to whatever. Um, this may be something that you keep on doing to yourself. And if it is, because it's showing up here with the devil. So if it is, 
look at the pattern look at why would you do this to yourself it's come it's definitely coming in from a sense of abandonment from a sense of not being loved um uh, somebody telling you that you know they feel the same but they don't because you assume that i don't know it's it's just a sense of it's never gonna work out it's never gonna happen so you may have a tendency to tie yourself up to a situation in which you tell yourself it's gonna work out instead of dealing with what is you know uh not creating all sorts of assumptions um if this is you because this could be them by the way it doesn't have to be you let's do the four of cups in the current situation ten of swords knight of swords seven of pentacles there's that energy that created this whole world of love falling back onto the same page as this energy that they were dealing with basically um it feels like there's a major disappointment a major heartbreak and from that there's a flip into okay let's come back to reality basically let's deal with this person with what they're giving us let's do the hangman in the immediate future four of cups queen of cups two of wands uh, Pisces. Man, I was so happy. Like, okay, the fantasy is over. They're back to what the situation truly is. And then, no, you're not. Because uh, I see you not necessarily pushing for this anymore, but somewhere inside of you, you're still kind of waiting for love to show up in the situation. And you're carrying with that a sense of discontent because it's not. Um, so it's like you're, you're hoping for something to show up, but at the same time, you don't believe that it will. Let's do the five of wands in the immediate future, the empress, the two of cups, the three of cups. There's been some conflict here. There's been something that may have created this situation where this person is not necessarily responding from an emotional place. Um, I see you wanting them to, but there's been something that has been left unattended. Something that you didn't work on, they didn't work on, the two of you didn't work on together. There's been a, a, a rupture, a conflict, something happened here. Uh, between the two of you and I see you hoping that that'll just go away and the two of you can get back on track well cool. the chariot uh, for the chariot you get the world the judgment card the strength card you are the one that needs to decide here for yourself you know because I feel like things are pretty clear between the two of you where they stand where you stand now are you gonna allow some sort of fantasy land to take over some your assumptions to take over or are you gonna listen to where they're at and respond to that you get to decide for yourself here and i kind of see you deciding that okay i'm done with this crap uh now you do have free will so it's going to take a lot of strength to recognize where they're at versus where your assumptions tell you they're at. From the universe, you get the seven of cups, the knight of cups, the five of swords. You keep on pushing yourself to open up to new options, new situations, but you're not done with this one. So until you're done with this one and you're clear about what this one represents to you, uh, not based on assumptions, but on reality, you're not done. You keep on wanting to thinking that, oh, if I find something else, it'll make me forget about this one. No, crap. No, bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, but when I see the five of swords coming in with that, the universe is kind of, yeah, no, no, no. Um, first, you need to figure things out in this one because this is very much opened as an energy so it's not going to allow you to move into other energies it doesn't work like that 
So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.